Hello, hello, good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Hello, everyone. Can you confirm, please, if you can listen to me? Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Can you hear me, everybody? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Edwin? I'm good. Thank Excellent. you for asking. Very good. Welcome to the class. And welcome to the class, everybody. Well, I can see only three people. And uh, okay, we are going to start, everybody. We are in the middle of the week. So today, I hope you are ready to participate a lot. Remember, guys, that this is the last week uh, in this level. Okay, so we need to be ready to participate. We need to be ready uh, to talk a lot. We are basically about to finish this level. And then guys, we go to the next one, okay? So um, I'm waiting for the rest of your classmates. I don't know where they are, but I hope that they can connect soon. So uh, just a reminder, everybody, on Monday, we are going to have classes, okay? Uh, basically, Monday is the last day, and it is important to everybody connect that day. So, uh, let's see. I can see Ulisse, but I think that he's listener. I can see Carlos, but he's listener too. Oh my goodness. Okay, and I can see Ed Edwin, you are the only one today. So, I, I will be asking you. Edwin, do you remember the topic that we studied yesterday? Um, the adverbs. Uh -huh. oh. adverbs and adjectives. And adjectives, pretty good, excellent. So today we are going to have a little bit more practice about it. Okay, we are going to see more exercises about how to use the adverbs and the adjectives. So, um, well, I would like to give one minute to your classmates in order that they join us. Just a reminder, everybody, again, this is the last week. That means that the platform has to be done by Friday. And in this case, um, this is the way that the platform looks like, looks like. Some of you already finished the platform, but some of you haven't. So guys, if you haven't finished the platform, please, you have to try to finish it. Um, let's see, Edwin, in your case, I can see that it's missing the unit number four and the last exam, okay? So you just need yes. to finish that before Friday, please so you can finish the platform. Okay. Um, the rest, I mean, so far so good. I think that most of you already finished. Um, some of you just need to finish the final exam. So please everybody do it. And if you haven't finished all the platform, please do it, okay? Remember, the platform has to be done by Friday, okay? Because at the contrary, you cannot move to the next level, okay? It's an obligation. Well, we are going to start, everybody. Thank you so much for connecting to today's class. Uh, just remember, guys, let's try to participate. Let's try to be with the camera on. Uh, don't forget guys that the camera needs to be on during the full class not just for a moment but the full class okay and let's participate a lot remember what we talked about yesterday so 
let's keep it in mind. Okay, I'm going to share the presentation. Can you see the presentation? Yes? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, so today is July 26th. And let's continue. We are finishing the week number five and in the unit number four. This is the topic that we are going to discuss today. We are going to explain the relevance of an effective inventory management. Okay, that is the topic that we are going to study today. And this is the class objective. The participants will be able to design a basic plan to organize an inventory management uh, system and use adverbs to qualify verbs. So basically, guys, we are going to practice a little bit more the topic that we studied yesterday, but also we have to talk a little bit about the inventory management. But before starting, I'm going to check attendance. Now I'm going to check attendance early, okay? Because I can see that lately, guys, you have been connected very late. So let's check attendance. Ana Lorena. Present teacher. Thank you. Boris Alexander. Okay. Uh, Carlos Alberto. Okay, um, Carlos Ernesto, well, he's listener. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Elias Neftali. Okay, Eulice Torres. Okay, very good. Jose Salvador. Jose Salvador, no, okay. Um, Josman Atilio. Okay, uh, Kevin Alfredo. Okay, uh, Melson Alberto. Here. Thank you. Osman Enrique. Okay, Pamela Carolina. Present teacher. Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Thank you. Santiago Roberto. Okay, and Wilber Alberto. Okay, pretty good. Okay, now let's start everybody. As I mentioned, please, let's try to participate. I have a couple of questions for you when we are talking about the inventory management. management. Why? Why do you think that? If you remember in the previous classes, we have been talking about the inventory management. Do you remember what an inventory management is? Yes? Do you remember inventory management? Yes, a little bit. Sure. So it's necessary to have an inventory. So tell me why. Why do you think that a company needs to have a very effective inventory management? Why? Why do you think that? Any idea? Because the company needs to, to have a control of all the, <clears throat> all the products that they have in a warehouse if they have to restock, if they, if they have enough product to sell to their clients. So they, they had to, to have that control of all the inventory. Very good. That's a good reason. Any other idea, guys? Why does a company need to have an inventory management? Uh huh. Because he need a uh, control uh, of inventory because uh, need uh, they need a uh, avoid the loss of mm -hmm. product or money. 
Very good, very good. And remember what we discussed. Imagine we, we have some products that they already expired or they are already out of season, they lose money. So in order to avoid that, we need to have an effective inventory management. Pretty good. Now, how do I calculate the right amount of an inventory to stock? Imagine that I am the manager of a warehouse. How can I calculate the right amount of product? What do you think? Any idea? Maybe you can take reference um, of the amount that you are selling per month, maybe? Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. What else? Any other idea, guys? Maybe if it's a new product, uh, they will uh, com compare with the competence uh, and okay. see the uh, their sales maybe okay yes yeah, sounds good sounds good all right so what you said is totally true pretty good now one more question how can i or how do i determine the right price Again, I have uh, my product, so, but how can I determine the right price? What do you think? Can I give the product very expensive or too cheap? So how can I determine the price? What do you think? Any ideas? Maybe they need to uh, calculate the cost of the product, mm, more uh, the uh, profit that they we can have, uh -huh. and also uh, they can see the price of the competence. Very good. So that is important what your classmate mentioned. Imagine we need to analyze different aspects, okay? It is not just, yes, I'm going to sell this product and to $100. Mm, we need to specify, we need to be careful. We need to see how much profits we need to get. We need to check the investment that we did and of course, the competent. I mean, if the competitors have a lower price, can I give the product very expensive? What do you think? Not really, right? Because nobody is going to buy me if my competitors have the same product, but in a lower price. So different things that we need to consider. When we are talking about these guys is basically related to the inventory management, okay? Now let's have a conversation here. We have a reading between Susan and Jorge. They are talking about the basics on how to keep an organized inventory system. Okay, so let's read this conversation and let's analyze what is happening here. This conversation is on your manuals, okay? It's in the page uh, 35. So I will need volunteers for reading. Who wants to read? Okay, if I don't have volunteers for reading, I'm going to pick someone. I want right. to leave. Me teacher. Rafael? Yes. Boris. And Boris. Okay, thank you, boys. Okay, Rafael, you are Jorge. Boris, you read the part of Susan. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice. Uh, so I need some advice about inventory management. Okay. 
I see you keep nuts on any scrap of scrap of paper. George, the first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record not their con consist consistent. Consistently. Sure. Consistent. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know, and look here, the labels are fi filing or to patch be labeling inventory reporting. You en ensure that you products get stored accordingly. Accurately. In Excuse me? Accurately, this word. Accur ac accurately mm -hmm. in the right spots so that your employees can fill them easily when needed. Very good. Okay, your employees can find, okay? Find, find them find. Find easily. Them. Okay, interesting conversation here. The first thing that I wanted to identify in here, guys, what is the conversation about? What's happening in this conversation? Let's see if you paid attention. Um, George have issues to, to manage, manage the inventory. Mm, okay. And... Now let's answer the questions. Jorge is having issues. Perfect. Yes. But what are some of the Jorge's bad practices in inventory management? Why is he having issues with that? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Um, he takes notes in uh -huh. paper. Yes, imagine guys. Let's go back to the conversation. It says that he keep his notes on any piece of paper. <laughs> it's like, ah, I have a this paper here, I will write. Then I need to write another information. I take another piece of paper and I write. Do you think that, I mean, is that a good idea? What do you think? That is a good idea. Right, very good. So it's very disorganized. So how do you consider yourself, guys? Are you a little bit like Jorge? Yes or no? Or you are more organized? Uh huh. Are you organized or mm, <laughs> are you more I, like Jorge? I similar Jorge. <laughs> you are a little like Jorge. Okay. And you guys? Uh huh. I I try to be organized, teacher. Because when I take a decision, okay. I prefer take uh, a decision based in correct notes. Ah, very good. And that is much better, right? I mean, if you are very organized, you will keep everything in order. So it will be easier for you to take or to make some decisions. Now, uh, what recommendations did Susan provide? Or what are some of the recommendations that she provided to solve 
these issues? What do you think? Did you pay the attention? Uh -huh. Our recommendation was uh, use electronic uh, sheets. Ah, very good. What is the name exactly? Spread sheets. Spread sheet. So what is that, guys? What is the meaning of spread sheet? Any idea? Maybe when you are using Excel. Exactly. Very good. So basically, guys, Excel, the pages that you can see on Excel, those are spreadsheets. Do you use spreadsheets at work, everyone? Yes, all the time. It's, it's main. Ah, okay. And the rest of it's you? My day by day. <laughs> day by day, okay. It's the control in the inventory, the materials okay. in the manufacturing. So you had to use it all the time? Yes. Okay, pretty good. Now, the next question. Uh, what is another suggestion that you can give to Jorge? to get his inventory very well organized. Now, Susan, she recommended him to use a spreadsheet. But about you guys, another recommendation that you could give him, what do you think? Well, I recommended upload the information in the in internet? On internet? Okay. Why? How do you say nube? Cloud. In the cloud. Uh-huh. Why? Because um, the devices can be failed. Uh -huh. And you need a... Uh, a backup. A backup, yes. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. What else? Another recommendation or another suggestions that you can provide to Jorge in order to have a more organized inventory management? Anyone? Let's participate. Give me ideas. What Maybe else? Maybe teacher, uh, he needs implement a, a process of oh, in and out ah, okay. uh, product. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Sounds like a good recommendation. Anything else? No more ideas? Okay. It is important to have... Maybe. Yes, go ahead. Maybe implement, 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 uh, con, uh, system, con, control system, okay. uh, uh, first intro and first out. Hmm, what do you mean? Mm. How how do you do that? Yeah, is the is the control the is the the control in even in the inventory control oh, the, okay. the, the the fears fears in 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 um fears out. Ah, exactly. Very good. And in that case, you can have a very organized information. Sounds good. So it is very important, guys, to have a very organized inventory management. Okay? Now, we are going to have here four tips 
for an effective inventory management. So we are going to practice reading comprehension, right? So here I have four tips. The first tip is make a plan and then execute. Tip number two is use multiple vendors. Tip number three, consistent and constant communication. And tip number four, create compliance policies. These tips are like ideas that you can use if you want to have effective inventory management. So I have the definitions over here. I want you guys to match these tips with the correct definition. For example, if I say, make a plan and then execute. Hmm, what is the definition of this tip? What do you understand? A standard operating procedures Procedures are critical to making your day-to-day -day warehouse operation a uniform process. Develop, develop policies that vendors, mer merchandisers, and fulfill staff adhere to. Maybe. Okay. So what do you think, guys? Is this one the number one? Is this the meaning of the number one? Or do you have another idea? Remember what we practice when we are reading, keywords, okay? What do you understand by make a plan and then execute? Hmm, another idea? Or do you agree with your classmates? What is the best definition for make a plan and then execute? What do you think? For me, no, number four, teacher. The number four? Mm -hmm. Can you read it, please? No, no. no. Oh, sorry. the number four. Number four. Uh, in, the, in the first sentence, for me, it's number four. This one? No, or... in the first. Ah, this sentence for you is the number four. For me? Create compliance and policies. Yes, I, I, I think. Why? Because in number four, uh, is speak about create com poli compliance policies. Policies? Policies. Policies. Uh, in this sentence, uh, in this sentence, uh, uh, also the meaning is uh, put policies, policies, uh, the vendors. Ah, that makes sense. For me, the, there is a word, uh, key, key word. Uh huh. I don't know. Could be, could be. What do you think, guys? Do you agree or do you have another idea? Okay, we are going to have practice reading comprehension, okay? I want you guys to read these four definitions and write the correct number. If you think that the first paragraph is the number four, okay, write number four. If, if you think that the next paragraph is, for example, the number one, okay, write one. And so on and so on. I don't know, you decide the numbers, okay? You will have five minutes. I will let you think for five minutes and then I will be asking individually about what your answer is. And let's see how many correct answers you have. So everybody, again, 
try to look for the key words. Okay, let's go. You have five minutes. If you have questions, just let me know. Read carefully. I can ask you individually, all right? Try to identify the key words. For example, if you are talking about the number two, use multiple vendors. Try to find words that are related with that, with vendors, with multiple. If you are talking about number three, consistent, constant communication, okay, let's try to find words that are related with communication. If you are talking about the number one, make a plan, okay, try to find words that are related to a plan. What steps do you need when you have a plan? Okay, you have the Three more minutes. I will be asking individually, so three more minutes. Okay, are you ready, everybody? Did you finish? Yes? I guess. Okay, and there is a few, everybody? You finished? Okay, let's find no. out. Let's try. Let's try to see if your answers are correct. Um, let's see. I will be asking individually. Let me start with Nelson. Okay, Nelson. 
in your opinion, which one is the number uh, the number one? Make a plan and then execute. What do you think? Okay, let me see. Aha, uh -huh. what do you think? C, the number three. Can you read it, please? Our purchasing team understands when and. Uh, uh, sorry. Our purchases, purchasing team understands when and how much product to buy. Your fulfillment provider knows when to prepare additional warehouse space. And your contact center, center staff can anticipate increased call volume. Mm, okay, so Nelson says that this one is the number one. What do you think, guys? Do you have the same answer or do you have another idea? I have another idea. Which one? I believe that if you have a high selling item that's difficult to keep in a stock or are planning promotion that will significant, significantly mm -hmm. increase demand, it often makes sense to commission a second vendor for the product as a backup plan. All right. So we have two options already. The rest of you guys, what do you think? I agree with Anna. So you think that uh, if you have a high selling, da -da 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 -da, that is the number one too? Yes, teacher. Okay. Anyone else? I yes. agree with Nelson. Pamela agrees with Nelson. Our purchasing teams understands. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, interesting. Yes. Uh huh. Any other opinion? It's, it's confusion in, in uh, for me is a, a a standard of operating producer are critical okay. to making this day to day warehouse uh, operation sorry, warehouse operation uh uniform process develop okay. for Policies that policies that vendors, merchants, merchants and full, and full mm -hmm. staff and there too. Okay, it's yeah. alright, everyone. So um, we have three different opinions. I agree with Anna. You agree with Anna? Okay. All right. Let's answer the next ones and then we are going to find out what the correct answer is. Okay, in the number two, the number two is talking about use multiple vendors. So what do you think, guys? Which one is the oh, number two? It's the first sentence. For me, if, if you have, if you have a high selling. The green color. Yes. Okay. For me, uh, in, in my opinion, teacher, is a good relationship with your vendors is crucial to your company's success, success, especially if you outsource any part of your retail operations. Okay, so some of your classmates consider that the number two is the last one when they are talking about a good relationship, da 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 da. Some of your classmates consider that is the second paragraph. Hmm, okay. I, I believe that is our purchasing team. Okay, look at that. We have different opinions. I okay. think it is the first sentence. <laughs> the first one. Oh, my yes, the first. Okay, look at this one. If we are talking about multiple vendors, what comes to your mind? when we are talking about multiple vendors. What is that? So what comes to your mind? For me, the last definition, yes. a good relationship with your vendor is crucial, not depend on one, one vendor. Okay, so multiple vendor means don't depend on only one vendor. That's what you mean? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. I believe that uh, is our purchasing because in these items, 
uh, tell about thing uh, okay. that make some vendors. Okay, okay. And it's often, it's, it, it often makes sense to the commission a second vendor vendor okay. for the product as a backup plan. As a backup plan, okay. Backup plan. So I can see all of you have different opinions. Listen to me, guys. The idea is to try to have reading comprehension. As I always mentioned, sometimes we are not going to be able to understand every single word, but we need to try to find at least the keywords. That's the idea. Now, number three, when I'm talking about consistent or constant communication, what is that? What comes to your mind? For me, it's the first sentence, teacher. Is it which one? The first sentence, our purchasing team understands when and how much product to buy. Okay, for you, the yellow color, that is the number three. Yes. For me, it's the last, a good relationship with your vendors is crucial. All right. Uh, I, I agree. Okay. Boris, do you agree with Lorena? Yes, I agree with Lorena. Okay. Another idea. Why do you think why do you think that is the last one? Lorena or Boris? Why? E, 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 um, because because and the um, a good rela relation mm -hmm. with your vendors is crucial. Okay. Okay. Is the communication is communication is a, a in the vendor and and purchase mm. is the communication frequent is very important. It is. It is. Also, okay. uh, tell about outsource any part of your retail operation. Mm. Yeah. For this reason, I believe that this the communication is important. All right, makes sense. Another idea, guys, about the number three. Yeah, teacher, for me, in my opinion, the definition number one, because it the uh, involucre the different actor in the in the in the in the management in the communication is important because it's the vendor, merchandising, full time staff and warehouse is important, the communication in the other activities, uh, the good activity. All right, makes sense, okay. All right, look, different opinions, interesting. Okay, the last one. If I'm talking about create um, compliance policies, what is that? I think that the first, the the first. Last sentence. <laughs> the first. Okay, the first. some of you think that is the first one. Why? Because uh, if you if you need to create uh, policies uh, about the compliance, you need to define uh, procedures, uh, develop policies that your vendors. Uh, and to follow the main objective that is increase your sales or others. Mm, okay. Another idea, guys? I agree with Nelson. Mm, okay. Another definition for the number four? Or do you agree that is the number one? Anyone else? Okay, well, let's see. Uh, if you see we have different options, I can see different answers, different opinion. You are trying to analyze it and that's great because that I want. That's what I need, that I wanted to try. Okay, that you try, try to understand what you are reading. 
Now let's find out the correct answers. Okay, let's start with make a plan and then execute. The correct answer is the third paragraph. Yes. <laughs> so if you pick this one, guys, check. That is the correct answer, right? Why? Imagine, guys, if you are talking about to have a plan, if you want to have an effective inventory management, well, you need to make a plan. And when we are talking about making a plan, what aspects do we need to know? Okay, first of all, our team needs to understand when and how much product I need to buy, right? Um, also guys, uh, I need to prepare a warehouse, additional space, just in case that I need it. This is part of my plan, okay? Also, I need to be ready to contact the center staff uh, to anticipate if I need to increase the volume. All of these aspects are related to my plan. Todo eso tiene que estar en mi plan, right? My strategies. And then when I have my plan, I need to do my plan. I need to do it, okay? So if you pick this paragraph as the number one, it's totally correct. Pretty good job. Now, let's go to the number two. Use multiple vendors. When I'm talking about multiple vendors, it means that I have only one vendor or do I have more? What do you think? More to increase the sales. Ah, I have yeah. more. And which paragraph is talking about that? Which paragraph is green? Yes. Yeah. That is the one. If you pick that one, guys, your answer is correct. correct. So, why? Key words. Look at this one. In the second paragraph, is telling us that sometimes, guys, um, the demand can increase. Mm -hmm. But sometimes what happens, guys, if we cannot sell all the product, it's great to have a second vendor as a backup. What is the meaning of backup? Respaldo. Exactly. So that's why this is a tip if you want to have an effective inventory management that you can have multiple vendors as a backup, okay? This is to prevent issues in the future with all the merchandise, okay? Now, number three, when we are talking about communication, what do you understand for communication? The correct answer is... The last. Yes, the last paragraph, if you pick this one, is correct. When we're talking about good communication, guys, consistent, constant communication, if you have a good communication with someone, that means that you have a good relationship, okay? So, Constant communication means that you can have good relationship with your vendors, okay? That is crucial. I think that in every single business, in every single company, we need to have a constant communication, okay? And the last one, we are talking about creating compliance uh, policies. The correct one is... The number one, the first 
paragraph. If you pick this one, that is the correct. If we are talking about creating policies, guys, do you know what is the meaning? Policies? What is that? Politicas. Exactly. And what is the meaning of that? When we are talking about policies, las políticas son esos estándar procedures. Okay? If you go to a company, the company, they say, okay, these are our policies. Or, hey, these are our standards procedures. This is the way that we do it. Okay? So, create compliance policies means standard operation procedures. How do you do that? Well, you need to develop policies with your vendors. You need to have policies with your merchandisers, okay? With your staff. In every single uh, detail, you need to have the specific policies. So this was some part of the reading comprehension. How many correct answers did you have? Two and Zero. four. Two of so four. The two of four. Two of four. Okay, two of four. For and you me guys? Is... Uh huh. Boris? Is con is confusion for me and number one um, um number four. The number one and the number four were confusing for you? Uh, is uh for me um uh, for example, uh, I I think the the number one is a uh, is the the right in the in the paragraph is the the plan. Ah. Okay. Um, uh, I, I I don't know I don't understand our purchasing team. Understand when and how much product to buy. It, it, it's not it, for me. It's not necessary. Is the 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 right in the plan? Is 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 a is a expert ex, experience mm -hmm. in, in in communication for the for the warehouse. The push is the this is the communication for uh, with warehouse and equipment sellers and and, and equip pro, equipment production on factory. Mm -hmm. Okay. Depend depend the the, the the information all all the people's uh, the, the I'm sorry uh, compra, comprador but I'm sorry how to say comp comprador or how equipo um, the buyer and the buyer the yeah, I, I, the push the, yeah, okay yes uh, uh, the the pushing thing is a uh, is is on the third when uh, how much product okay. because depend depend in the information all the people in the 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 cada area i'm sorry in each area <laughs> okay it's okay in you each are area you in are each tired. area thank you <laughs> all right now remember that these guys are four tips all right it doesn't mean that it's a standard like this is the way that you have to do it no remember these are tips these are like recommendations suggestions if you want to have and effective inventory management. So if you are a manager, which of these tips do you consider is the best advice for you? Number one, number two, number three, or number four? You as a manager of a warehouse, 
which of these team, uh, I mean, which of these tips is the best recommendation for you? Number one. The number one, make a plan and then execute. Mm -hmm. And you guys? All of them. <laughs> All of them, okay. But if you had to the, pick only one? Develop policies. Uh, the policies, okay. The very complicit policies. Mm -hmm. It's important, it's very important. Is the, the great complex policy? Yes, every company yeah. needs to have the compliance policies. Yes, yes. I agree. Remember, remember that those are their standards operation procedures, right? What else? Do you have any other opinion, guys? Which of these tips for you is the best one? Teacher, in my opinion, uh -huh. uh, the four tips is uh, important. It's a uh, different the activity mm -hmm. or the department uh, because it's important uh, the effective uh, operation, mm -hmm. uh, the control the different uh, the different department. And um, for me, no, no, no more important one tips. The four is important. Depend the four. The focus of the, the department. Ah, okay. Because the, because the, the company is, is necessary if, uh, effective uh, effective inventory, mm -hmm. the control the different department so in right. general. Okay. Yes, good. I agree. Okay. Another idea? Imagine that you are the manager. So, which tip is the best option for you? Make a plan, multiple vendors, communication, the policies. Anyone else? No? Okay. So, this is about the effective inventory management. In the end, guys, it is important to have an effective inventory management, yes or no? Yes. Yes, totally, right? So especially in a warehouse, I mean, this is the day-to-day, -day, right? They need to have an effective inventory management in order to have everything under control. And of course, don't lose money. Pretty good job with the inventory management. Pretty good job, guys, with the reading comprehension. Uh, if you feel the reading comprehension is difficult, that you don't understand what you are reading, okay, that is the ones that you need to practice more. On internet, you can find, guys, different articles, different exercises about reading comprehension. I suggest you to try to practice it. Try to read in English. Okay, and try to get and try to understand the main idea. Got it? Yes. Uh, uh, other other things. Um, mm -hmm. Other thing is a uh, is a uh, make make a uh, cycl cyclic inverter the the eating make a what cyclic cycle 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 inventory ah, the the eating of course and we are going to study that later no worry about it but yes that's another idea and if you don't know what is that don't worry in the next classes we are going to discuss that Okay, thank you for okay. mentioning Boris, very good. Okay, now guys, uh, let's continue. We already talked about the effective inventory management. Now let's try to review a little bit the topic that we studied yesterday, adjective versus adverbs. Do you remember this topic? Yes? 
Oh my goodness. Yes, teacher, I believe. Uh, thank you. Only one says yes. And the rest of you guys, do you remember this topic? Yes, teacher, a little bit. Okay. Let's try to practice together. If I'm talking about adjectives, can you give me examples of adjectives? Polite. Polite. Mm -hmm. Give me adjectives. What adjectives do you remember? Creepy. Oh. Lovely. Okay. Uh huh. A sleepy. Sleepy, yes. A smart. Smart. What else? What else? Uh, Give me adjectives. Positive or negative? Give me adjectives. What do you think? Tiny. Which one? Tiny. Tiny, yes. Load. Okay. Happy is an adjective, yes or no? Yes. 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 yes so, what is the function of the adjectives? What do you think? Describe a noun and ah, object. They give more information or they describe the nouns. Okay? Remember that the noun can be a person, can be an object, or can be an animal. Pretty good. Okay, then we have the adverbs. Can you give me examples of adverbs? Surely. Surely, yes. What else? Hard. 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 What else? Honestly. Honestly, yes. What else? What else? Quickly. Quickly, yes, that's another adverb. And what is the function, guys? What is the function of the adverbs? He's described the, the compliment mm -hmm. on, on. Close. Close. To spray a bear. Ah, okay. Remember that the adjectives, they give more information about the? Nouns. 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 And when we are talking about nouns, we are talking about people, we are talking about uh, objects, okay? We are talking about animals, but the adverbs, they are not talking about the nouns. They are talking about what? An adjective. They can modify another adjective. They can modify... An adverb. An adverbs. Exactly. Very good. So the adverbs, they modified another adjective. Yes. They can modify another verb. Yes. And they can modify another adverb. Okay. The only things that they don't modify is the noun. Okay. Because the only ones that can give information about the nouns are the adjectives. Basically, that is the function. Okay. This is a short definition about what we studied yesterday. If I want to transform an adjective into an adverb, what do I need to do? I need to add L-Y. L -Y. For example, if I say happy, what is the adverb? Happily. Happily. If I have slow, what is the adverb? Slowly. 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 If I say, for example, quick, what is the adverb? Quickly. 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 Honest? Honestly. Honestly. Careful is the adjective. What is the adverb? 
carefully. Carefully. So if you want to transform an adjective into an adverb, easy. You just need to add L Y. Understood, everyone? Yes. Clear. So so. So so. Let's have a so, practice. So. Let's have a practice. I have some sentences here. You have to decide if we need an adjective or if we need an adverb, okay? Uh, let's see, let me open up the exercise um, over here. Imagine if I say, uh, can you see the exercise? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, you have done all your exercises, period. We can start the next unit. So what do you think? You have done all of your exercises correct or correctly? Correctly. Correctly. Correctly, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure about it. Okay. Number two, volunteer for reading, please. Song is a bright, 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 bright. Okay. A bright boy? Brightly. Or brightly? For me, it's brightly, to change my opinion. Brightly. And you bright. guys? Bright. 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 Why? Because, because it's bright, bright the, the, the okay. subject. Bright. Bright. I'm describing. An adjective, a noun, a noun. an action, a noun. noun. And what is a noun? Boy. Ah, okay. So Tom is a bright boy. He's the top student in his class. Hmm, interesting. Number three, volunteer for reading, please. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Lara Wiston is a, a, a beautiful woman. Okay, do you agree, guys? A yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. I agree. Also. Okay, later we are going to see your scores. So let's see if you get 10, okay? Number four, okay, volunteer sure. for reading. You look jealously. Right. Jealously? Yeah. Jealously. At his brother. What do you think, guys? He's correct. Yes, are you sure? Yes, because this because this cry, the bear the bear is look look. Ah, okay, okay. Let's see number five volunteer. Uh huh. Quickly. Which one? Quickly. Quickly. If, okay, it says, I had to solve that issue at once. It was a quickly decision or it was a quick decision. A quick decision. It was a quick decision. Quick. 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 Okay, <laughs> pretty good. Now, I will be asking individually, okay? Let me start with Wilbur. Can you give me the number six, please? I need to speak. Gentle love. For lady. For lady. Speak. lady. Wilbur, I'm sorry. Try to speak politely to your uncle. He politely. doesn't bear red people. Okay. Try to speak politely. Do you agree, guys? Yes. Yes. I agree. Uh, Wilbur, pick one of your classmates, please. Boris. Okay, Boris, can you tell me the number seven, please? Uh, Amelia Cole Wall. Patient or patient? Uh, 
I'm sorry, uh, tell me. Uh, one moment is. Uh, 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 pa pa patiently. 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 Do you agree, Patiently. guys? Patiently? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Bodies, pick someone, please. Pamela. Okay, Pamela, can you read the number eight, please? Um, a lot of people are happy because they love their job. Do you agree, everyone? I agree with her. Yeah, I agree, teacher. Okay, Pamela, can you pick someone, please? Um, Santiago. Okay, Santiago, are you there? Okay, I think he's not there. Can you pick someone else? Kevin. Thank you. Okay, Kevin, can you read the number nine? The situation was extremely, extremely dangerous, so we had to call the emergency service. Okay, do you agree, everyone? Extremely? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, Kevin, pick the last one, please. Because of the time, we cannot complete all the exercise, so we are going to resolve only the number 10. Osman. Okay. Osman or Osman? Okay. Os with, with J. Ah, <laughs> okay. Atilio. Okay. Go ahead. Sorry. Okay. Um, the cake is very, very tasty. Can you charge your recipe? Recipe. Recipe. Do you agree, everyone? Tasty or tastily? Tasty. Tasty. Okay. Are you sure about your answers? Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's see your scores. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Look at this one. Correct. 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 All of them are correct. Pretty good job. Excellent, excellent. So now you are identifying the adjectives and when I need another verb. Is easy or difficult? What do you think? Teacher, can you explain the first sentence, please? Why is adverb? The number uh, one? Yes. Yes, of course. Imagine in this case, guys, if we translate this sentence, I will say, Tú has completado o tú has hecho todos los ejercicios. Can I say, correcto o correctamente? Correctamente. Exactly. Correctamente. In this case, guys, am I describing a noun? No estoy diciendo una característica de los ejercicios. Estoy describiendo la forma en cómo los hizo. The way that you did the exercise is correct, right? That's why I need the answer. You have done all the exercises correctly, okay? Es decir, que los han hecho correctamente. That's why we need the answer. Understood? Is it clear? Yes? Um, we, we are describing the activity do the what uh, do and what uh, how ah yes exactly don't mm -hmm. have done that too because in this case guys podríamos haber dicho hey ustedes han completado los ejercicios incorrectamente right so we are not talking about the exercises i'm talking about the way that you did it Okay. I'm describing the action. So that means that the action is done correctly. Okay? I got it, teacher. Thank you. 
You're very welcome. Any other questions that you may have, guys? Teacher, I, uh, I have a question. Go ahead. It's a, uh, what the meaning? How will, how will, how will, Mm, sorry. sorry. Uh, the sentence uh, oh, in the sentence. Oh, jealously. Jealously. Oh, jealously, guys. Okay, if you say jealous, it's an adjective that is celoso, right? Jealously is celosa mente, right? That is the meaning for jealously. So, for example, I can ask you guys, are you jealous? Do you consider yourself as a jealous person when you are in a relationship? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Absolutely. <laughs> but not toxic, right? <laughs> not toxic. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> okay, so that is For the moment. meaning of For moment. Oy, oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. Is it clear the meaning of jealous? Yes. Okay, jealous. pretty good. Okay, so everyone, very good. Uh, now that we practice a little grammar, okay, I have here some exercises. Analyze these sentences, okay? I have these sentences. Tell me if the sentences are correct or not. If you consider that the sentence is correct, okay, you can write a check. If the sentence is incorrect, okay, let's write an X, but tell me what the mistake is, okay? For example, in the number one, Sara tiredly put down the heavy shopping bags. So, hmm, is the sentence correct or not? What do you think? Is correct. Is correct? Yes, because tiredly are describing the verb put. Ah, good job. Exactly. So this sentence is correct. I'm describing the action, not the person. So that's why I need the adverb. Excellent job. How about the number two, everyone? Amber tried to finish her homework quick. Is that correct? No. It is not correct. No. Quickly? No. Quickly. Ah, very good. So the correct one is quickly, quickly, right? I'm not talking about the homework. I'm trying, I'm talking about the action. Okay, very good. Number three, volunteer for reading. The present Harmon got from James what very thoughtful. Thoughtful. Okay, what is that, guys? What is the meaning of thoughtful? Have you ever seen that word? No, no. teacher. Okay, this thoughtful is like when you want to say detallista, right? Or Ah, es que este regalo fue muy considerado. Okay, so that is the meaning of thoughtful. So is the sentence correct? The present was very is, thoughtful? Yes, incorrect. Correct or incorrect? Incorrect. Why? It's a, it's a, I'm sorry. Thoughtful is an adjective. So do you think that I need the adverb? No, it's correct because it's describing the noun. The present. Ah, describing. In this case, it's correct because I'm talking about the present. And the present the is an object. So I'm basically describing the noun. Okay? Yes. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, number four, volunteer for reading, please. Number four, anyone? Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. 
Benita is running a successful business. Mm -hmm. Is that correct, everyone? A successful business or a successfully business? What do you think? Successfully business? So we need the adverb, successfully? I believe. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. no, because successfully is describing the, the business. Mm, okay. What do you think, guys? I agree with Panela. So the sentence is correct? Yes. Actually, yes. it is correct, right? Because in this case, I'm describing the word business. ¿Cómo es el negocio? The business is successful, successful. right? I'm describing the noun. Okay, in the number five, John Hungry ate a large piece of pie in the evening and he didn't have any lunch. Is the sentence correct? Mm -hmm. We have to use the, the adverb. Okay. What is the, the adverb? Is hungry? I don't know if it's correct. It is correct, hungrily. So what do you think, guys? Do you agree with Pamela? We need to add uh, the adverb. What do you think? I'm not yeah. sure, but I think it is okay, the sentence. But okay. eight is a verb teacher. He's a verb. Describe ah, I'm talking okay. I'm talking about John, or John. I'm talking about the way that he ate the large piece of pie. The way that he ate the John. Mm -hmm. I'm describing the person or the action. The person. The, the person. Mm, estoy diciendo que John tiene hambre, o estoy diciendo que Cómo se comió el pie. Ah, sorry, I I confused with the with the hungry. I I think I was thinking it was angry. Oh, uh -huh, <laughs> yeah, it, uh -huh. it is okay. hungry when you don't eat, so you feel hungry. Uh huh. So, is the sentence correct or not, everybody? It is not correct. I agree with Pamela. Ah, very good. Yes, it is not correct. We are going to say hungrily. So basically the translation will be like John hambrientamente, right? Eh, o de manera hambrienta comió la gran porción de pie, right? So basically we are describing the action, the way that he ate. I'm not saying that he was angry. I'm saying that the way that he ate the pie was totally hungrily. Got it? Teacher, uh, yep. what happened if our idea was um, John Hambriento comió? Ah, could be. But remember that in this case, guys, normally, remember the position, okay? What is the position of the adjective in the sentence? Do you remember? Before. Before the Before noun. The... Before the noun. And in this case, is the adjective before the noun? No, teacher. No. So, para que la oración estuviese correcta, as an adjective, mm -hmm. in that case, we had to say, Hungry John? Eight. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very good. Okay, because of the time, we're going to stop with this exercise. But look at this one. So far, so good. You are analyzing correctly. I like that. Now, yesterday we discussed. Yes? I'm sorry. Sorry, I had a question about the exercise. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. 
in the in the sentence sentence number one and number five, um, the tiredly and hungrily are are adverbs, but in the um, in the structure of the sentence, it's correct that they go before the verb or or after the verb. What happens, guys, with the adverbs, the position is different. I mean, the rule is different. Because remember that it depends the word that they are modifying. Okay? Yeah. If they are modifying the action, sometimes they can be at the beginning. Or, I mean, before the verb. Right? But if they are describing the adjective, the position can change. They can be before the adjective, but if you have a verb, it will be after the verb. So with the adverbs, we don't have um, like a very specific position because it's going okay. to depend on the word that they are modifying. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Or so far so good. Ready for an exam, everyone? Maybe we can have an exam, so just be careful. Okay, yesterday we started this practice. Okay, we used these ones. I have here more uh, adjectives. I have more adverbs. I want you guys to pick a number and you have to tell me a sentence using that word. Do I have a volunteer who wants to try? Volunteers? Okay, if I don't have volunteer, let me pick someone. Da -da 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 -da. Osman, hello Osman. Hello teacher. Okay, Osman, give me a number. A number? Okay, let me see. What date is today? Today is 26. Okay. <laughs> uh, however, number 11. 11, okay. Quietly, is that an adjective or an adverb? It's an, it's an adverb. Correct. Give me a sentence using that word. Uh, quietly, uh, what is the mean, teacher? Quietly is like in silence. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, let's say. Or classmates are quietly during the class. Hmm. Okay, what do you think, guys? Do you agree? I'm going to write it. Our classmates, Our classmates are, are quietly in the class, you said, right? During the class. Okay. During the class. Okay. Um, it but, is quiet. It's quiet. Ah, it's yes. Quiet. According to this quiet. sentence, we need to use quiet. You can oh, add oh, yeah. you can add an action in order oh, to be quiet. Oh, other teacher. Okay. Other oh, try. Oh, other number. <laughs> ah, another, another number. number. Okay, yes. give me another number. Uh, number two. Number two. Okay. Ah, this one is easy. Bad. bad. <laughs> it's bad. Bad okay. is um. Uh, it's, uh, 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 is an adjective or is an adjective? adjective. It's adjective. Okay. It's Give me adjective. a sentence. Um, um, don't sleep every day is bad for, for us. Ah, okay. Don't sleep every day is bad for our health. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, now, 
art is good, but you know, I want to uh, rewrite the sentence that you mentioned before. Uh, oops. Because I like that one. Our classmates are quietly during the class. We can easily transform this sentence in order that we can use the adverb. The only things that we need to do is change the verb. We can say our classmates, um, let's see, speak, <laughs> for example, stay. or stay, yes, quietly during the class. Because in this case, Am I describing my classmate or I'm describing the action? Uh -huh. What do you think? It's a good truck. <laughs> <laughs> Treats. Yeah. Treat. Yes. <laughs> yes. And the best idea, right, is we can even change the position and we can say, ah, our classmates quietly speak during the class, or we can say, our classmates speak quietly during the class. The position, again, with the adverbs, the position can be different. It's not as standard as the adjective. So look. We just changed the verb, and now we are talking about the action, okay? Now, Osman, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Okay. Uh, Rafael Alexander. Thank you, Rafael. Give me a number, please. Um, number three, please. Number three, okay. Carefully, give me a sentence using carefully. Mm. I don't know. What is the meaning of carefully? Is that an adverb? Cuidadosamente. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, teacher. The police uh, take the. I don't know. You're doing great. The, the, the police running carefully. Okay, oh, repeat. <laughs> Try it. Repeat again, please. The police run the the car careful uh okay i can barely hear you but i understood something like the police the police run 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 carefully carefully ah carefully like this yes okay right. the police run carefully is that correct everybody what do you think Actually, I agree, teacher. it is I agree, teacher. actually yes, because in this case we are describing the action. But remember grammar, police, the police officer is singular or plural? Singular. singular. So can I say the police run? Run. 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 Very Runs. good. So the Runs. police runs, or um, if you want to be more specific, the police officer runs carefully. Pretty good. That's a good one. Okay. Teacher. Yeah. Teacher. Hey, I have an example. Go ahead. Uh, for example, I I need you work carefully on the street. Good. Is correct? Yes, totally. I need to work carefully. If you see, there is a common phrase when you are driving, people say drive carefully. carefully. Okay, carefully. pretty good. So everybody, this is the way that we can use the different adjectives and the different adverbs. 
Is it clear to identify the differences? Is it clear to use them? What do you think? Easy or difficult? Difficult. Mm -hmm. Difficult? I, I got so confused when you say the when the adverb can change after and before the birth, but it's okay, it's kind of. What happens, yeah, that is the difference between the adjectives and the verbs. The adjectives have like a very strict position. We know that the adjectives goes before the noun or after the verb to be, right? And that is like the main rule. With the adverbs is different. The position might change depending on what is the word that they are uh, basically describing. But they are like, look at it in this way, the adverbs are more flexible according to the position, okay? Now, uh, let's, have, let's have another practice, but before that, I'm going to check attendance one more time. So please, everybody, um, if you weren't here when I pass attendance the first time, be careful and say present. Ana Lorena? Ana? Okay. Question, teacher. I have disconnected my uh, audio. <laughs> it's okay, no worries. <laughs> uh, Boris Alexander? Present. Thank you. Carlos Alberto? Okay. Uh, Carlos Ernesto? Present, teacher. Thank you. Edwin Antonio. Present teacher. Thank you. Elias Neftali. Elias. Okay. Eulise Torres. Oh, his listener, sorry. Um, Jose Salvador. Okay. Eh, Josman Atilio. I'm here. Very good. Kevin Alfredo. Present. Very good. Nelson Alberto. Present. Very good. Osman Enrique. Present. Thank you. Pamela Carolina. Present. Very good. Rafael Alexander. Present. Thank you. Santiago Roberto. Santiago Roberto. And Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Very good, excellent. Okay, let's continue everybody. Remember that when we are talking about adverbs or adjectives, um, one of the main functions for, if you want to use adverbs, I think that using adjectives is pretty easy. Using adverbs is a little bit more complicated. Just remember that if you want to use adverbs, basically they give us information about where, about when, why, how. They can give us details about how often, how much, what degree. So they give us a lot of information, not only about the noun, okay? And if we are talking about the actions, easy. If you want to take an adjective and transform it into an adverb, you just need to add L, Y. And this is what we mentioned before. Efficient, efficiently. Accurate, accurately. Slow, slowly okay so we just need to add ly as simple as that got it yes now let's see oh my gosh the time is very short so we are going to have a speaking practice i have here different options okay and I want you guys to describe the following words using adjectives and adverbs, okay? For example, let me ask you guys, who is your favorite singer, guys? Uh-huh, anyone? Marcos Wilson. 
Sorry? Marcos Witt. Marcos Witt. All right. So I want you to describe your favorite singer. What can we say about him? Ah, I can say, okay, Marcos Witt is smart. Okay. So smart is an adjective or an adverb? It's an adjective. adjective. It's an adjective. So we can describe the person using adjectives, but also I want you to use adverbs. And I can say, ah, he sings eh, perfectly. Perfectly is a noun. Oh, I'm sorry, is an adjective or is an adverb? Adverb. An adverb. An adverb. And look, is describing the action. So I'm talking about this person using both smart, but also I'm using perfectly. That is an adverb. Understood? That's what I want you to do. Describe the words that I have here using adjectives and adverbs. Got it? Yes? ¿Se entiende la activity, everyone? Mm. No. Yeah. Not yet, not yet. I'm sorry. Okay, listen. Uh, you have to work with your classmates. Describe these words. For example, okay, vamos a describir a my best friend. Who is your best friend? Ah, my best friend is Rebecca, for example. Okay, tell me about Rebecca. Describan Rebecca usando adjectives. Ah, she is beautiful. Is that an adjective? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. ya dijimos una oración con adjectives. Ahora tratemos de describirla usando adverbs. Remember, si estamos describiendo adverbs, tenemos que hablar de una action. ¿Qué me pueden decir de su best friend? Ah, she speaks. ¿Cómo habla? Ay, she speaks very quickly. You know, she, eh, she always speaks quickly. Um, she works eh, patiently, for example. Oops. <laughs> Patiently, es decir, que trabaja pacientemente, right? Es muy cariñosa. She is <clears throat> lovely. Look, I'm using adjectives para describir a my best friend, pero también estoy usando adverbs. That's what I want you to do. Okay? Is that toxic? ¿Sí se entiende la activity, everyone? Ahora sí? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. I will send the scenarios to WhatsApp's group and please try to give as many details as possible. If your classmate is not using adverbs, tell them, okay, now tell me in sentences with the adverbs, okay? Um, let me send it on WhatsApp groups. Try to give as many details as possible because later, I will interview you. Let's see. Okay. I already sent it on WhatsApp group. Let me open up the breakup rooms and please everybody enter to the breakup rooms. Sometimes few people enter to the breakup rooms. I want to everybody try to participate. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Okay, let's go to work, everybody. Zero Spanish, please. Let's go. Boris, are you asleep? Are you asleep, yes. Boris? Yes, I am.
Me too, me too. I want to go, go on my bed. He walk, he walk to the light. Yes, yes. But uh, also we have 15 minutes. And then we can go to, we can go to the bed. Okay. Uh, how about which person, what do you uh, talk? Can you repeat? Which, about which person would you talk? Your okay. best friend, your boss, your um, neighbor? Um, I, I want to speak about my uh, my best my best friend. But let me see. My job. Okay. Oh no no it's easy it's more easy my house <laughs> yes my house uh, we we can we can speak a uh, 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 cualquiera de esos tenemos verdad yeah, anyway okay uh, my house okay uh, I th my house is uh, in the center town is in the certain center town. Uh, almost, uh, almost in in Center Street. Uh, one block, one block from from Center Street. Uh, my I, I like so much my house because it is it is not so big, not so small. Uh, is is my house is so private, so private because. Uh, in front of my house, there is a, a big door in in Salvador, <laughs> Porton. <laughs> big, it's, uh, big, more, but big, it's so big, so big. Uh, for this reason, I like so much because nobody can see me inside. Yes. Uh, uh, after after the big door uh, there is a garage the garage is, is free it's free uh, without how do you say that you mm. i don't know but you understand me roof. yes roof did you yourself roof yes roof. Roof. roof always forget this word i don't know <laughs> okay uh, then uh, my uh, garage is is free without roof. Uh, next, the garage is uh, the living room. Uh, next, the next the living room is my uh, my bedroom. Uh, inside the the house uh, is a uh, is a kitchen. Uh, also, uh, some rooms. The song room, the child's room, child, child room. Uh, behind, uh, behind, uh, uh, in the end, in the end of the house, there there is a a jar. Uh, the house jar is not so big. Uh, one hundred meters. One hundred meters. Uh, uh, there is there is uh four trees. Uh, my house is the world is tall is high the world is high. Las paredes son altas. Uh, it's very fresh. The weather the, the weather inside the house is 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 fresh. Uh, in in my house uh is is very I, I don't know. It's, it's noisy. There is there is a there is a noisy. There is a noisy. Uh, I don't know. For this reason, I like so much my house. <laughs> okay. When when uh, I, I am happy in my house when when I ride of the work, uh, I be I feel very happy. Uh, on Saturday and 
Sundays, uh, I would, I would like to uh, take a rest uh, in my house. Uh, yeah, only I have, I am happy in my house. Okay, what about you, Lorena? Um, for me, uh, I talk about my house also. Hey, what is the... I'm on board. I hear the... Most, Airplane. The most. I, I hear the most around there. <laughs> Okay. Uh, house. My house is um a small and the kids play um uh, noisily all the night. Oh. Um my pets are happy in the yard. Uh, behind my house um deny the um is a big problem when people are um shouting shout um what do you mean when when you say shout gritar is ah okay okay shout shout yes shout okay, okay. um maybe the environment is a um, really um, quiet okay uh, the almost of the time, but sometimes uh, the kids are uh, the situation um noisy. <laughs> okay, oh, like God. I like my house. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and you, what is? Uh, me too. Try to describe it with adjectives. <laughs> Hello. Can you hear me? Uh, I can yes, hear you, yes, Nelson, but Pamela is freezing. Oh, okay. All of you, I, I see freeze. <laughs> can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Yes, there is a connection. Me too. Me neither. Ah. Okay. My best friend is my dog, currently, always. <laughs> and he, he is, yeah, it's correct to apply in this case, he. It is? Yes. He bear, if right? It's a boy, yes. Is, yeah, yes. Is the male? Yes, if it yeah. is. Because in this case, you consider the dog as part of your family. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, why not? Okay, he is uh, black. And uh, is a. It's uh, mm, extremely mm, noisy. I don't know it's correct uh, to these adjectives and yeah, an ad adverb and adjective, right? Yeah. And she, uh, he like a uh, bark, barking all of the time, bark all of the time. Is 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 terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's terrible, <laughs> but I love, I love, I love. Okay, and what about you, Rafael? Hey, my best friend, best friend. Uh, 
he call he his uh, his name is George and he's very smart and he has a he 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 have no he had a small family he had a a girl and he speak loudly and you Pamela okay my best friend her name is Karen Karen is uh, a beautiful woman he is a, she is smart um she ha she no we have a honestly friendship and she has um people who 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 they care about that's all and what about carlo well next uh, job or no yeah your best friend oh, best your best friend. friend my best friend is friendly um he's he's honestly quiet invent <laughs> uh, my best friend is very hungrily it's correct hungrily Hambriento. <laughs> hungry. In this case, it's hungry. Is the adjective? Hungry. Yeah. Okay. Um. Only that. Only that. Next job. My job is. Uh, Dangerous, dangerously uh, excited. Um, my job is uh, honest, honestly for me, work. <laughs> You can describe the way that you work. So how do you work, guys? Do you work patiently? Do you work quickly? Do you work slowly? How okay. do you work? My work is... is I rather, work? I work. Uh-huh. I work is... Uh, slowly in combination with uh, how do you say fast faster uh, fastly okay so it's a combination you have to work slowly but sometimes a little faster okay I work, uh, my work is slowly in combination with Okay, time's up. Let's go back to the main room, everyone. All right, all right, time's up, time's up. Time's up, okay. Uh, Did your classmate give details when they were talking? Yes. Did your classmate try to use adjectives, but also try to use adverbs? 
more adjectives than more adverbs. More adjectives than adverbs. <laughs> okay. Did your, yes. classmate, did your classmate speak in Spanish? No. Never. Never. No, this is a Spanish teacher. <laughs> All right. Now, listen. Be careful because I was listening to a person and you said, ah, my best friend like, can I say my best friend like? Oh, no. Likes. Ah, yes, my boss work. Can I say my boss work? Works. Oh. Ah. My boss is a nightmare. <laughs> really? Yeah. Mm, but he must have reason. And so be carefully. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's, the... Yeah. Oh, my <laughs> boss is, is the best. Ah, because the class has been recorded. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but he gives the reason. Maybe Nelson gives reasons, right? <laughs> we never know. Okay, listen, unfortunately, we don't have more time. We are going to continue practicing always tomorrow. Please, guys, try to connect on time. Try to participate. And don't forget to finish the platform, okay? The platform has to be done by Friday, okay? Do you have any questions okay. before leaving? No, no, teacher. Okay, have a wonderful night, guys. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye-bye.